everybody, it is I, the Lone Swordsman, and welcome back to another video in Lone Plays Paper Mario, the Origami King. It's episode 7, and today we're going to be climbing that tower up there. Overlook Tower, in order to get to the top where the red streamer is all coiled up. There's not actually a text box here, so we can just go ahead and do this. Uh, we can actually skip these now, um, these whole Earth Elemental Transformation things, because these will be all over the world for different things. We can skip them now, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. We've seen them before. But on the note of those origami transformations, why is there not a book of some kind that teaches you how to fold these things yourself? Because there isn't. And if Nintendo's so keen on ripping money off of people, like they did with Mario 3D All-Stars, then why aren't they making this? I don't know. I don't understand, but... Let's actually play the game. Alright, shake it like a piece of outdated fr f f No. F no. No. We saved the world, I guess. Well, not yet. We still have some, uh, streamer destroying the day. But, you know. Okay. So, if the Earth Devil was a dungeon, then this is too. Welcome to Overlook Tower. Whoa, look at the size of those mushrooms. And that banana, that could feed an army. Wait, there's something off about them, isn't there? Oh, they're just drawings, flat as paper. I'm sorry if I got your mouth watering there, Mario. Yeah, it's that one of the big that's one of the biggest holes we've seen, isn't it? It looks like they need plenty of confetti to fix it up, I'm afraid. Yeah. Hey, you fixed that huge hole! Rot row! Oh my gosh, it's my brother's face! This is one I could tell was drawn right away. It is really well done, though. It must have been the same artist who drew the banana and the mushrooms. Wait, that means... Whatever, whoever drew this knows my brother. I don't know how, but there's no other explanation. Okay, doke So... This place is as much of a dungeon as all the other places, as we're trying to get to the top. No, you're ripping me! There's gotta be a better way. Okay, well... Save the day. Ah, oh, that's better. Welcome to Overlook Tower, Mario. The tower with a gift shop. We're still working on that slowly. And it looks like we've got some major cleaning to do as well. This artwork isn't bad, mind you, but every time I see it, I'll think of that monster that attacked us. It was horrible. A thin, rattling body with a huge mouth full filled with all manner of things. You think a monster did this? I didn't know my brother was friends with monsters, because it has to be someone who knows his face. Well, I know you're scared, but Mario is here now. That means there's nothing to fear. Right, Mario? There are all sorts of toads here! There's one. Thanks, Mario. Come see me on the second floor if you get hungry. I work in the restaurant there. Don't tell me I boss, but I mostly just stand here all day doing nothing. That attack was pretty exciting. Ooh, thanks, Mario. Now I can get back to selling tasteful souvenirs and tasty items. If you're in the market for either of those things, stop by any time. This one's really smart. Right there. Whack. Yes, you noticed me. That's quite a drawing. Now that I've seen it, I can also be a it, you know? I guess so. Um, a fun little reference here. These two pictures right here are both of locate. The one at the top is Overlook Tower, in case you can't tell. But... Oh, okay, we can buy mushrooms here if you need them. Oh, uh, let's make it up here. These these two pictures, the one on the left that looks like a pirate ship is, I believe, the Violet Passage in Paper Mario Color Splash, and the Serpent Circus Tent is the Emerald Circus where you fight the in Paper Mario Color Splash. So, fun little reference there. Um, is that? No. There, there, there's toads all over the place in here. Um, over there on this rat thing, there's a toad. Wee, I haven't had that much fun. We haven't been speaking in a toad voice. Okay then, we gotta fix that now. I talking in a toad voice for the next couple of minutes. I love the universe. 
Uh, we gotta go actually go back out here and get some good play. Okay! Eek! The door is stuck all of a sudden. What could be making it stick like that? Now we'll be sticking around for a while, I guess. Maybe we should try heading to the top of the tower for now. I guess we'll be riding the elevator then, since we can't fix that. I don't know why I did that. I just... I guess I have an affinity for holes. Hey, could you humor me for just a second? Uh -uh. Now passing the third floor, cosmetics, handbags, men's slacks, over oranges, perfume, and camping gear. Next stop, 4-4, bicycles, mattresses, formal wear, blenders, and comic books. How'd I do? I've always wanted to be an elevator op operator in one of those fancy department stores. I'm actually not too clear about what a fancy department store is, but it sounds fun, right? Mind if I do the same thing in reverse on the way down? Wow! Isn't that... great. Whoa, that was way too close. What are these sticks making us stuck? Oh, they've been positively ruined my department store fancy, unless... Dearest elevator passengers, there will be a slight delay while my friend Mario takes care of this emergency. Let's do Mario. These are colored pencils, in case you're that stupid and not know what a colored pencil is. that but okay ow first floor absolutely flattened princesses crushed dreams broken glass and athletic wear this place is a disaster so what do you think was blocking our way out colored pencils yeah it's it's crazy how this sort of thing works oh this is smart this one. Okay, you know what? We're gonna make do with this. I guess? I mean, I'm not sure you're supposed, you're supposed to do that, but we'll go ahead and get rid of these guys with our shiny boots. No, no! Oh. No, we can go ahead and get rid of these guys, guys. These guys go. Okay, these guys go. Talking is not exactly a strong point, I guess. I, mean, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys, too. Why is the last one surviving? I don't understand. Well, maybe I'm just dumb, I don't know. Kill those prairie goombas, I don't want to be in this bad of a situation. Just one toad left. No, not that one. Toad left. You block it for one damage. And then. Bam. Epic! Awesome. So, we get some more confetti there, which is vastly needed, and also, wow, I actually, on my first playthrough, I don't think I realized this, but this is some really good level design. Hmm. Well, with the confetti we got from those guys, I think we can cover this. Yes, we can. Uh, awesome. Let's make our way up. Got 
Got some more drawings here. Wine. Awesome. <laughs> yes, of course. Wine. That's oh, awesome, of course. We got an item block here, too. Which I believe. Maybe up here. Over here. Oh no, not these stairs, too. And I can't imagine you have much confetti right now. Do you think we can even find enough confetti in here to fix them? Hey, I can help over here, and I might be able to help. Something real bad is going on with my wrestling right now, and I don't even want to say it out loud. And I'm the head chef, but I really. What am I. What's wrong with my toad voice? Why can't I just do it? I don't know. But that's all of our question blocks here, so that's helpful. Let's also save this code. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. I didn't let go of it. <laughs> is that supposed to be me? What was I was thinking? I'm a blue toad, not a red toad. Ah, sorry, I should be complaining to you. At least don't F you just rescued me. Here, let me make it up to you. Mushroom! Epic. I'll have to go this way. Of course, we can't go into the elevator for reasons we've already um, established, so. Let's head in here. This is the aforementioned restaurant. Doesn't seem to be much going on. You're going to come back and pay for that later, aren't you? No! Imagine paying for things! Oh, what's the codes? Thanks for that. Oh, it's only one. Just a tip, I wouldn't order anything from the kitchens after the state that fo those folded soldiers left it in. Folded soldiers, huh? Well, those pots do, do seem a little bit ticked off. If we roll that over here, we can head up here, which... Apparently doesn't do anything. Totally noted. Coin here, let's look at If we rattle this, we get a heart. Which is almost always a bad sign. Th these eggs are actually toads, as shown in the trailer for the game. Whoa, that for sure has gonna be someone's breakfast. Um, yeah. Another epic thing. There's a toad in here. It doesn't count as tidying if you just throw everything into one drawer. Well, I guess I never clean my room. Because mm, that's actually what I do. I just. Go, go clean your, go clean your room alone. Okay, and I just go in there and stuff all of my garbage into one of my um, drawers. Did you clean your room alone? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, one of these folded things driven behind its back, off the wall, out of the ceiling, then right into that thing. That's an amazing shot. That was a pretty bad toy voice. I don't know what happened there. Let's open this up. Uh-oh! Pest infiltration. Destroy the pest. They, oh, wait, they deal damage to you? I don't remember that. Oh, that makes them significantly more worrying. They're crawling around like literal insects. That is annoying. You gotta get all those things, Mario! You know how bad it looks to have them crawling around in the kitchen? I, yeah, I can imagine that the health government thing doesn't... We head up here, we got another one. That was a great decision. Um, I believe there's one more right over here. Yeah. Oh, there's a toad in there. Awesome. Oh, that was horrible. I was beginning to compost. Is all of that for this room? But I believe there's someone here too. <sighs> yep, there's someone here. Let's take care of him. Will you die, you stupid little fiends? I love that word, fiends. Stop right there, fiends! I'm about to throw it there. Okay. And right up here. One last one, but this is the last one, right? Nope, there's one over there. Is that it?
That's not it. What am I missing? Oh, we're right up there. Okay, I see that. Wait, no, I didn't mean to go back here. Well, I guess I do, because there's, there's something in that pot, but we'll take care of this because we do things in an orderly manner around these parts. Can I not make this very simple jump? Or is my controller just not working today? Epic. It doesn't look like that confetti's actually helping, so we're just not going to bother with it. Put in this pot over here. That was brutal, but I think we got all of them due to the mu music change. They've calmed down. We got some confetti. Let's go talk to the chef. Back in his little nook, I, I guess. I don't know what you call that. That drawing of the toad up there is fantastic. Hmm, I don't hear the pitter patter of little pests anymore. You did it! Here, I hope you enjoy this finely chopped confetti. Bon appetit! That was very helpful, actually. Let's go ahead and catch up this game. Yeah, I guess I didn't do my research on this game great because I definitely do not remember any confetti being, being the main goal of this area, but I guess I'm wrong. That's all the holes, which means that we're probably pretty close to the top, or at least they've changed the gimmick. Uh, for those of you who just don't get the reference, this is the, this is Mario Bros. Bushes and Wool. I mean, I don't know many people who would be watching this video that don't get that, but... Uh, nothing ar around here, even if we look. So... Um, we can... I thought we could shut that! No! Okay, it's fine. Um... The hammer isn't working. Oof. Well... Man, this game, this game really, really isn't that helpful. Awesome. Well, it is helpful. But that's the point of the joke. Locked out! It doesn't seem like pushing will open it. We're not gonna get to the top if we can't get in there. Back another one of those sticks! That is most definitely a color punch, I think. And then again, I guess that, that makes sense why you wouldn't know what that is. Well, anyways, we're underneath of a, we're under a nuclear missile strike thing, I guess? And they only do five damage, which is kind of funny, honestly. Like, you think that a nuclear missile, not, maybe not nuclear, but you get the point, would be, like, not just five damage when the, um, when the uh, fire back in the Earth Temple was 15. But no. They just keep coming. We've got to get out of here. Huh? Is there something on my face? Whack. Huh, I wonder what we're supposed to do now. It's almost like there's a place we need to blow up, and since nuclear missiles blow things up, huh? Okay, we made it. We made it in here. Obviously, we can't go inside the. Uh... All right, we hit the switch, and the ladder goes down. Come on, come on. Run, run, run. You got a heart in here, so we might as well get that. Well, everything kind of goes to crap around us. Yeah, so I guess this is what it's like being shot down by um, literal colored pencils. That's awesome. The little ladder still isn't down yet, and we're still getting shot at, so that's not good. Yeah, all you gotta do is run in circles until it's done. And I think we can go around and then lap and it should be done at the bottom. Oh gosh! Okie doke. Let's head up. This is very exciting, to be fair. Missiles running around us as we're trying to cover the little tower. Oh! That is a dead Mario. We should probably save. You never know, we might get shot by another freaking missile. It's probably nothing. 
There's the end of the streamer! And that's my brother's face, right in the middle. He really making sure everyone knows this was him. Should we try to detach it somehow? Ooh, maybe if you jumped into it from below? Boop. Nothing. Hmm, is that the most powerful jump you can do? Matrix moment! Yeah, except it was way too close. I wish those sticks would stick to their own business! Da 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 Oh man, you're almost out of the picture for good. That was a terrible French voice. The missing maestro, color pencils! Oh. Oh, okay. I'm sick and tired of Philistines like you erasing all of my hard work, man. You probably haven't heard of me, right? Figures, when was the last time you ever went to a gallery? Don't answer, I'm going to give you an art lesson for free. The name's Jean Pierre, color pencils the 12th. I represent the Legion of Stationery, I'll have you know. That I don't know why I can't do good friends boys. Anyway, I'm guarding this streamer and I'll scribble you on your five faces, that's what it takes to stop you. That's more British. Legion of Stationery? John P. Oh, that's too long for me to remember. I'm just gonna call you color pencils, okay? Respect. I suppose my brother sent you to try and stop us, right? Well, colored pencils, you talk tough and you draw really well, but have you even heard of Mario? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mario is tough and he's got a mustache and he's gonna mess you up. Right, Mario? Okay! We're playing a video game right now, and we're fighting against the boss fight of the first chapter is a case of colored pencils! Okay, this is insane! Also, the music's pretty good too, but we'll get to that. Feast your eyes upon my arsenal! Twelve colored pencils ready to make your, pa my, your paper bodies my canvas! Locked on targets! Hmm, that magic circle doesn't look like it's on power. Does that? Is it on break? Wait, what's that? This is the first time I've seen a panel like that. It looks kind of like a switch. Maybe it activates something. This game literally hands the solution to this puzzle to you. So, if we go around here, we'll get the envelope, as well as hit this on switch, which will activate the magic circle. Which, you know, this just, this just, this just like a little bit helpful, so let's go ahead and go with this puzzle. Avoid the targeted panels, sneak behind the case, and then whack the lid with your hammer. Oh. Okay, well, we can do this. Primary target. They all missed you! You! My missiles are flawless! It's the target that's all wrong! That's actually kind of a good argument, to be honest. As it circle on, we grab here, and we close the lid. No, no, my lid is closed! I cannot stop my missiles! That is a much better French voice. And that was a lot of damage. The missile's exploding in its mouth! Awesome! I guess this chatterbox's mouth is good. It's weak spot. <laughs> yeah! Think about it. We are for this guy, we are like okay, imagine that you are firing um bullets through your teeth. Right? That's what we're doing here. Right? Uh let's go for a hammer attack here. That'll ah, work, yeah. Epic, we'll go ahead and activate the things too. And then you get your you you get your mouth shut and then you shoot your mouth up on the inside. That's what's going on here. It's pretty messed up, but we're we're also fighting a Kind of colored pencil, so I don't think it really matters. We want to attack the inside of its case, as I think it's weak point, as the outside of it is just kind of, you know, steel. So, did you enjoy my body thing, Gratik? Honestly, I love the puns that this guy has. It's actually incredible. Reload complete, and I have plenty more where these came from. Got some more missile targets to deal with. Um, sure. And we do that. 
Yeah, that, that, that's the best case scenario right now. We get a full heal. And we get our attack. Go ahead and figure this out. Grab it and shut it. I know, I love how it adjusts it just so we can slam its wood foot. Very nice of you, Mr. Jean Pierre. I forget her name. Jean Pierre colored pen with the 12. Okay, it's not actually that difficult. Oh, yeah, this video is going on for a while. I'm not surprised, to be completely honest. This is a very long episode series thing. So, yeah, let's go for basically the exact same strategy here. We get the on switch and we get a free attack. Not a free attack, but you get the idea. And hammer time. Um, I'm pretty sure um jump attacks do less um against this guy, so but that that might just be my imagination. I'm not really sure. Uh more damage he's doing now, so more damage he's doing now. Oh everyone's a clean stick. I want to make my work bit disrespected like this! Time to roll as my masterpiece! Well I just slap between three entire, entirely different accents there. Anyways! Oh yeah, the music, listen. Also, that, that, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a Gatling gun. There, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Um, let's go ahead and play the logic game. It's actually the exact same puzzle from earlier, if, if you noticed that, so. Yeah, a bit lazy if you ask me, but nobody really asks. Let's just move along. Get a full heal, and I'm a bit of an idiot, aren't I? Hmm. Boots, I guess? I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's when Hell is supposed to do this. Yep, these, these, these pencils are really in the case that we're attacking. Oh, we got rid of some of those pencils. Okay. Oh. That's a good thing. So we're definitely gonna want to work out now. So clearly, there's no attack we can do to actually knock this guy out. So when your normal actions don't work, resort to using the magic circles. That's what we're supposed to do here, and I know you're not surprised at all. Let's go ahead and get that. And so that will still work, right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. We get a heal. Which is epic on, on its own. We get a double attack boost. And we can do our attack. Okay! We grab the bullets out of his gun. Which, I guess that's what it is. And then we smack him with it. This is so... Okay. Rush attack. You guys know how this works. We've seen it before. And he's almost dead. Definitely bent up. No, you made my my present missile. Do you have any idea how expensive foot and some arms supplies are? At least I don't need any missiles to do this. Worst case. That's really funny, to be honest. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's really much left to say about this. This is not that difficult of a fight, but it's the first boss fight that isn't directly regarded as a tutorial like the Earth Elemental was. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and double our attack. Get a health boost, so we finish this off with 70 health, like the absolute chads that we are. And let's beat him up. And that's four puzzles. No name, no time, be the disgusting pop culture. I actually completely agree with you. Pop culture sucks. You were better than when you were a side scroller, man. That's actually such a good insult. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. We beat him. The power of the magic circle. Hey, a new magic circle appeared. It's almost like it came from that colored pencils thing you defeated. Maybe it's really important. He's been resorted to a thing. Do not uh, treat my man Jean Pierre, the colored pencils, the twelfth, like this. However, we are going to treat that streamer like this as it's, it's called good old game progress and a lot of confetti too. X 
That's one down. Four to go. Congratulations! Red streamer cleared! And that's the end of chapter one, folks! Da end of chapter! You got a crystal star! Okay, I'm not gonna go with this. We also get a, um, a boost of our confetti, so that's awesome. Let's move along! That was amazing, and we both did something! Hey, like I said before, we do make a pretty good team. Hey, it looks like you're back in all my confetti! Shh! Confetulations, that's terrible. All right, but that was really exciting, but we've got a lot more streamers to unravel. Now, which color streamer are we going to head to next? Oh yeah, the blue streamer on this red mountain. That's as good a place as any. Maybe even better, because it looks so pretty from here. Well, that's the end of chapter one, and the end of episode seven. Next episode, we're not gonna be going after the blue streamer, but doing all sorts of bonus stuff that we can do now that we've beaten chapter one. And along, of, on, along the path of the last couple of episodes, we have um, saved some toads that are like, oh, come back to Toad Town and do this, and we've just ignored them and moved on with the plot. We're also going to be doing that next episode. So if you enjoyed this, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. So, yeah, thanks. Bye-o.